Put the holes in the barrel. Man read the Bible. Holy men of God men spake as they were moved the by the Holy Spirit. Let me ask you something. Good. And let me say the same thing real quick, because i got a party to get to. But hey, this is a gay guy whose father was a pastor who thinks he's a Christian. Yep, and check it out. If you guys spend half the amount of time that you spend standing out here with signs, actually helping people, putting clothes on people's backs, standing in a food kitchen, which I do as a you're, you're the religious one, so you do that. Okay. Oh, so you're not religious you that. then. You're just you out here using religion as a sign. Do you think you're going to go to heaven by your good works? You'll go straight to hell by your good works. Oh, really? Yeah. And you will go to heaven by standing here with signs. If you don't please God in your life, you'll go straight you to think, hell. You think this pleases God right here? We bring a warning to you the bring foolish a in, a, in America. No, foolish. you bring a mockery. Those that reject Jesus Christ by their lifestyle of sodomy is one. I am very That's just one sin. I am very that glad the Bible says that you were born. Abomination. I am very glad that you were born in America because if you were born in Iraq, you would have already blown someone up. Oh, have here we go. Nice here we go. And you would have been and killed as a sodomite. So you're lucky you're in America too. Because you know those Iraqis, they kill those sodomites. Oh yeah. They yeah, they do. know it's wicked, man. They stone them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and you know what? You're one step away from them. Have a really? Nice how time. do you know that? Are you judging me? Bullet. Are you judging me? That poor, poor sodomite. He's been deceived. His father is a pastor who accepts sodomites, he told me. What a foolish sodomite. What a foolish sodomite. The Bible says, Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. That's detestable to God. What you do as a sodomite is detestable to God. That's right. Basically, you're classified as a worker of iniquity. A worker of iniquity. In Psalm 5.5, 5, just so you know what God says, God hates all workers of iniquity. Yeah, and you know what? And the problem with you is you love your sin more than you love God. That is your problem, young man. You need to love God more than you love your sin. Oh, you poor, deceived individual. What are you going to do when you wake up dead and have to stand before a holy and just God? What are you going to do? What are you going to do when you stand before God? Yo, God's watching you right now. God is watching you. I'm going to go, God, isn't that guy standing there an ass? Oh, man. He, you're going to have to give account to those words. You know that? You're going to have to give account to God. I mean, he's hearing you right now. He even knows what's going on in your mind. You know that? That wicked, right vile mind of yours, he knows. All those right wicked things that come out of your mouth, God hears. And everything you do in your flesh, all that filthiness, God sees. And you're going to have to give account one day, man. You should be trembling. You should be terrified. You should be terrified, young man. Terrified of yes. what? It's going to be terrifying to stand before a holy and just God without a Savior. You know what the scariest verse in the Bible should be for you? On the day of judgment, these people go up before the Lord and they go, Lord, what about us? We did all these wonderful works in your name. See, you're one of those works guys, okay? Hey, what about us? We cast out devil spirits in your name. He says, depart from me. I never knew you, ye that work iniquity. And that's what you are. You're a worker of iniquity. Why don't you do this entire area a favor and depart? Well, for you? You don't even know God's will, do you? Who the fuck are you to even tell? The preaching of the cross is foolishness to them that perish. That's what you think. You think what we're doing is foolishness. That's a perfect example. That is a perfect example of someone that's going to perish. This is not a, this is not a ministry that we picked. Says God chose the foolishness of preaching to save those that would believe. See, it's the preaching of the gospel that's going to save you. It's the Holy Spirit that, that plants itself in your heart. And grows to a saving faith. Oh, we go. God stoned a man. God stoned. God, God threw a rock right out of the sky. There you are. Boom. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did where? Where is that in the Bible? They're charred. Black. Hey, you turn your fucking shit on the camera. Thanks. Burned up. Do yourself a favor when you wake up tomorrow morning and actually look through about what's on it. When you receive AIDS this year, man. When I receive AIDS? Yeah. I don't have AIDS. I'll tell you what. You start thinking about God. Who's that? Oh, I think about God. God is so merciful that even though you are an abomination, excuse you, minor. Romans 1 says, when you're trying to trick God into a lie, God gives you up a vile affection. 
women doing that which is unseemly, and men doing that which is unnatural. And then God gives you a little reprobate mind. A reprobate mind is a mind who does not know what's right and what's wrong. A mind whose conscience does not work anymore. That is a reprobate mind. That's what it is. Oh, you poor deceived person. I pray the word of God that when in your ears plants itself in your heart and grows to a saving faith. This is an example of light dispelling darkness. We preach the gospel. We told the truth to that young man, that young sodomite right there, and he departed because he couldn't take the light of God's word. He loves his sin more than he loves God. That is a fact. Oh, it's heartbreaking. If there's a Christian out there, seek that guy out and witness to him. His heart is hardened because he loves his sin. He's been lied to. Someone told him that he could be a sodomite, he could live in his sin and still go to heaven. Oh, what a lie. That's a lie from the pit of hell, people. Oh, man, it's heartbreaking. It breaks my heart. I pray the Lord chasing that young man and bring him to a saving faith. Oh, man, this lie. This, this perversion that is corrupt and scourge of society, the sodomy that has scourged our country, ah, oh, people. You know what God, God gives a great example of what he thought of sodomy with the example of Sodom and Gomorrah. He rained fire and brimstone down and destroyed them. Ah, oh, people, wake up. Wake up. Word of God speak when you pour down like rain. Washing my eyes to see your majesty.